All right, we're now going to play some Elvis. Elvis is in the building. Okay. That's kind of funny. I was in Mount Morris yesterday, and he was in that building as well, but he's managed to find his way from Mount Morris to Sandwich. This needs no further introduction than that, does it? Blue Christmas. consider myself a lifelong learner, and I did learn something recently here. I thought, I would have lost this bet, I would have thought that in my 40-some years of being a professional musician, I have at least heard, if not played, every Christmas song at least once, all right, if not a dozen times. Going through our library here, once I took this position, we were programming this concert, I came across a piece that was completely unfamiliar to me, and now I know why. Right, it's called La Fête, or La, yes, La Fête de Noël, French title, which means the Christmas party. All right, and this is a collection of four songs that are original Christmas songs by the composer. So 
These are four Christmas songs that I, in fact, have never heard nor played until today. Um, he titles them, We Sing in Celebration, Sing We Noel, Slumber Song of the Infant Jesus, and He is Born the Child Divine. So this is a medley of those four songs written by our composer, Charles Spiney. Um, in my research, this piece was written for concert band. I don't believe that there are ever words that went with these. So they're not Christmas carols, per se. They are Christmas songs. And you will all presumably hear four new, or four new Christmas songs as well. So you can impress your friends and neighbors with that information when you see them over the holidays. I hope you enjoy.
piece of cool collection of pieces. And I'm going to impress my friends and fellow musicians. They're going to get in the gig and they'll say, hey, let's play this too. They're going to look at me like, wow, this guy knows a lot of stuff. I hope they don't ask me to actually play. That would be a problem. But anyway, okay, this is, this is arguably the most iconic of all Christmas carols, one of my very, very favorites, Silent Night. And I think this is actually the oldest piece of music that we're playing on our concert tonight, if we were just going to chronologically date them. Sing along if you'd like. Not too loudly, though, because the clarinets really sound good. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful piece of music. Um, we have one more to play for you tonight. This is also a very iconic uh, piece of Christmas music. Before we do, lots of thank yous here. And I 
I'm doing this for the first time, so I will probably forget people, so I apologize in advance. But first of all, I would like to say, thank all the people associated with Sandwich Opera House for allowing us to use this great place to play. This is really a, a really uh, fantastic um, Specifically, Tom Brady, who runs all of our lights and keeps this thing working and was able to put our great gate of Kiev up there without him. I would be hoarse by now and we would be blind. So thank you very much for all of your, your individual help and assistance here. Um, <clears throat> some things that you don't see, we have uh, to bring all of this equipment over here, uh, particularly the percussion equipment, and we were very fortunate to have the Donovan Brothers Cabling Company donate a truck so we could actually bring everything over in one vehicle. And they allowed us to keep the vehicles, so we can take everything back in the same vehicle, and it could save us a lot of time and effort and elbow grease and cramps and pulled muscles and so on and so forth. So thank you for um, all of those things. I personally would like to thank the band. This is the first opportunity I've had to present a concert with them, and it's been absolutely great. All of our rehearsals have been fun, and, and uh, the band has played as well as I've ever heard them. So thank you, and uh, I look forward to more of it. This is more or less fun for me. The work is the eight weeks prior to this. Um, okay, and again, please don't overlook the, the punch and cookies afterwards. Please take me very seriously when I am asking for people to join this spectacular group of individuals, all right? People think, I, you know, I, I taught in the community college for almost 30 years, and I can't tell you how many people played through high school and then you know, the horn goes in the closet, life gets in the way for a while, you know, and then they're 30 or 40 or 50, and they say, man, that was a lot of fun. And, and some of them are brave enough to uh, get the horn out, blow the dust off, and enjoy themselves. And um, I, I'm sure there are a few less brave, more timid individuals who haven't taken that risk or that chance yet. If I'm talking to you, please come up here and join us. I guarantee you, you will have fun. All right, I absolutely guarantee you, you will have fun. All right, um, Leroy Anderson's Sleigh Bells. All right, Leroy Anderson, um, a lot of composers through history have become famous because of their associations with other people. Um, uh, John Williams and Steven Spielberg, huh? um, so on and so forth. Leroy Anderson, Arthur Fiedler, the Boston Pops. Do you remember growing up and watching that on the television? I remember as a young child watching Sing Along with Mitch, uh, uh, Arthur Fiedler, the Boston Pops, and Lawrence Welk. They were on, I can't, I can't remember in which order, but they were on one right after the other on Sunday evenings. And that was one of my very first, really, memories of, of listening to and enjoying instrumental music. So we'd like to play for you arguably his most famous piece of music. It's called Sleigh Ride.
like to like, we would really like to appreciate Jeff for tonight. He has made all of this happen and we have never sounded better. This is your first concert with us and we couldn't be 